Speaking of things I can't unsee, I keep seeing these videos of Klaus Schwab from the World Economic Forum all over, uh, you know, mostly on Twitter, but all over the online world. You don't see them ever on mainstream media. And the World Economic Forum is basically this group, this globalist group that is putting leaders in all of our countries. Justin Trudeau was one of their young protégés. Here's a video from Klaus Schwab at the World Economic Forum. Waves of lockdowns and the stresses of finding work or returning to workplaces have even amplified the existential and often silent mental health crisis. So what should you do? You are calling for the international community to safeguard vaccine equity to respond to COVID-19 and prevent future health crises. Nobody will be safe if not everybody is vaccinated. Sarah, the reason I wanted to throw threat. this. Yeah, that exactly, that was a threat. That's, that was exactly my point. And the reason I wanted to throw to this <clears> video after the Trudeau thing is, it seems to me that all these people have left. And I mean this, the Democrats, these world economic, all they have left is that we need them because things are horrible they're going to get worse. And they're also telling us they're the ones that are gonna make it worse in essence. I mean, it's extraordinary, isn't it? It really is. It's also extraordinary that, you know, you get called, I'm gonna be really careful with my words here, Dave, uh, for just for, for you, for for the sake of your YouTube here. Um, yes. it, I'll, I'll state a fact here. Klaus Schwab wrote a book in 2020. It is called The Great Reset. You can look it up on Amazon. Yep. In which he laid out uh, exactly what it would look like if you used a crisis like COVID-19, which is what he wrote about. Uh, these are all facts. And you used that crisis, that pandemic, to create a new world, no, I'll say a new global alliance. <laughs> uh, and the only way that they know that they can do that is by instilling fear in people. And at first I think it, they found it to be a little bit easier than it is now because you know people's loved ones were in the hospital, they were sick. We saw all of these videos uh, coming out from China at the beginning of people literally dropping dead in the streets and nobody knew why. I mean, there was reason for some Americans to be alarmed and to be fearful. Now, all they have is this vaccine that by the way, won't prevent you from getting sick or going to the hospital, but they're still going to threaten you that if you don't get it, you're going to be left behind. It is, it's mind boggling that they can't give this up. But as we know, uh, once you get that power, you're not going to relinquish it. You're just gonna continue to want more and more and more. It's just crazy to me that this is happening right under everyone's noses. And I'm still called a conspiracy theorist for saying they've literally laid out that they were going to do this and now it's happening. Why is anyone shocked? I know that's almost part of it, that it all happens. Those of us that are paying attention see it. And in some ways that makes other people think we're even crazy or something like that. Uh, Ezra, I should mention that uh, your, uh, we put on your lower third, journalist without air quotes, because it's so refreshing for me <laughs> to be able to call someone an actual journalist. That is your special lower third for today. Uh, Nick, uh, did you see this video earlier this week where uh, the Biden administration official, who of course is a former BlackRock guy, was saying that if in essence we don't go to war with Ukraine and save the liberal world order, then everything's gonna collapse. That's sort of directly connected to this, isn't it? This idea that we have to you know, go to these wars that we don't declare and we have to pay more at the pump and everything else to save the liberal world order. Wouldn't that have been like an Alex Jones thing a couple of years back? Right. They're saying the quiet parts out loud now. And what you're seeing is that with, with even with the COVID stuff that's still going on and in L.A. County, they're bringing back masks for indoors. Uh, there's never you never are boosted enough. You know, it, it, the SA Screen Actors Guild Union has uh, reinstituted masks on set at all oh, time, right. whether in, and you have to be vaccinated and boosted in order to work. And what I think is that all of these people in these uh, positions that have been put there, like Gavin Newsom, like uh, like uh, Trudeau, they are not. They, their allegiance is not to their constituency. Mm -hmm. Their allegiance is not to their voters. Their allegiance is to this global liberal order that they all want to participate in, and they want to bring every nation under the sway of. 
And I, I know that sounds like a big sweeping pronouncement, but that's what I think is going on. Uh, Gavin Newsom really isn't in danger by, from his voters because they've changed the electoral system in California so that he really can't be removed by the voters. And that's why so many people like you and I, Dave, have uh, gotten the heck out of California and gone, gone to some place where you're, at least your vote means something. Your vote doesn't mean anything in California because the, vote, the uh, politicians in California, like Newsom, don't have to be scared of what you think of what they do. Don't worry, Nick, I'm not gonna tell people where your under, underground bunker that you're reporting from right now is. But, That's right. Uh, I'm the insurrection guy. I'm waiting for the FBI to come yeah. after me. It's like, what, why, why haven't they come and get me yet? It would make a great ending to the movie. Oh, it would make a great ending to this YouTube show too. I mean, that would be the perfect ending to this. It could happen at any this. moment. Oh my, I hear something. <laughs> 